Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this one, what we're going to do, we are going to look at codons and we're going to find the position of some particular codons in a sequence and send the output on the screen. So for that, what we need to do is first we need to have a sequence. So this is my sequence. And in the sequence, we are going to look for these four codons, which have already put it into a list and for these these four codons what I'm going to do I'm going to look through the whole sequence and find the index at which or the indices at which these four codons can occur I'm going to look through starting from every index so right right from the beginning so you know in every uh, I mean every programming language the index always starts from zero so the first position is always zero and not one so I'm gonna start from zero look through the whole position then I'm gonna start from one look through the whole position two till the end and finally we're gonna get all the possible positions where these four um, codons can occur now in order to do that first what I want to do I want to create an empty list where I'm gonna append the positions whenever I get I get them so I'm gonna say codon position there's just a variable that I'm creating I'm gonna put an empty list to that so lists are always declared by these square brackets and next I'm gonna I'm gonna capture the length of the sequence and put it into a variable so seek length so this is again a variable you can name it anything seek length is going to be the len I'm using the len function on my sequence variable which contains the whole string of sequence and finally I'm gonna run a loop uh, I'm gonna do it with a while loop but this can also be done with the for loop so before we run a loop I'm gonna initialize a variable which I'm gonna be using in the for loop to zero so why I'm putting it to zero because I'm going to use this as the index marker for uh, I mean for the loop so now that is set I'm, I'm gonna start with loop so I'm gonna say while I is less than the seek length minus two why I'm, why, why I'm saying this because all the codons occur in triplicate okay so I have to look through the whole sequence in you know in three nucleotides at a time so that's right whenever I'm saying length of the sequence it's gonna be ending over here so to get the last three I'm gonna be ending it over here so the last one minus two so that is why this seek length minus two Next, inside the while loop, what we're going to say, um, we're going to extract that sequence position, I mean the possible codon position from the beginning by going over three nucleotides at a time, like I said. So, sequence, and I'm going to look through my position of i to i plus three. So, it's going to start from i which is initially zero so this position and it, it's going to take three nucleotides at a time so i plus three and it's going to see if this matches with any of the four codons that are inside this codon list so finally we're gonna give a conditional so if this sequence, this whole thing, the sequence of i to i plus 3, let's put it into a variable. Let's call it possible codon. Yeah. So possible codon is equal to this sequence of i to i plus 3 when it iterates. And so if this possible codon so if this possible codon is in the codon list 
right? So if this thing is matching with any of these four, then what I want to do is I'm going to append that position or that index to this empty list. All right. So, all right, I'm going to delete one I, put it here. So code on position. Now I'm going to say code on position dot append with with the index so whatever the index is just use that number and append it to this list and finally what I want to do is I want to come out of the if statement and say i is equal to i plus one all right so what i'm doing is after running the loop i am moving up by one by one nucleotide and starting the whole process once more so so that i can have every possible position that can have the sequence i mean that can have any of these four sequences now all i need to do is you know come out of the loop and print the position so i'm going to hit a print statement and i'm going to use an f string where i'm going to say codons are found at indices i'm going to use curly braces inside this i'm gonna put in my um, list that is codon position and i think this is gonna work let's see i'm gonna run it and you can see we have codons found at indices 27 so let's look at this if it is 27 then uh, I'm gonna be for 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 25 26 27 so this is my 27 um, this T and you can see that there is a there is a code on TGA which matches with this right so that's how you that's how you find a set of codons that you want from a sequence using a while loop and if you're not familiar with loops I have made a dedicated video for for loops and while loops you can check it out I'm going to be putting that in the description below and maybe a card is going to be popping out right now on top so that's about it for this one bye i'm going to see you in the next one